Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Let's School, where last time it was all about the new things, wasn't it? There was an earthquake, that was all very new and exciting to deal with, not had to deal with an earthquake before, we hired some new support staff because that's the thing we can do now, and of course we tried and failed to build ourselves a brand new wonder, and I've loaded up our Cupboard College game, and I think we have another new thing to deal with. I don't think we've seen anything like this before in our game so far, so we have a little kind of choice about what actually activity we'd like to celebrate in the upcoming week which is quite fun and the game excitingly goes let's pick one now okay game yeah let's do that so we can choose to either celebrate world hygiene week or we could go for study week now study week does seem the more sensible option given that you know it's a school and everything that would kind of tie in quite well but you get little kind of rewards so what do we get for study week. What happens if we go and do that? So students who frequently observe the academic statue will be passionate about learning. Studying efficiency increased. Okay, so people that go and look at the statues, and I think we've got the three, haven't we? We've got the humanities, science, and art statues. Kids going to look at those. They're just going to work better. They're going to just have more learning power, which is good. Okay, that's no bad thing. And then the reward for completing study week, just for kind of getting through to the end of the week, we get 50, what they call contribution points. Yeah, 50 contribution points for each of the different kind of learning disciplines. I mean, that's okay. That's okay. That's 200 of those in total. And of course, the more we get to those, the more kind of points we get toward that and we get money as well. So that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing, but it's not very much. What do we get for completing World Hygiene Week? What's all this about then? So World Hygiene Week promotes a love for the environment and personal hygiene. Don't litter and wash your hands because someone is coming to inspect the school's hygiene level. Oh, so it's like a proper inspection at the end of World Hygiene Week to make sure that we've celebrated it properly and efficiently and tidily and cleanly. Okay, right, fine. So what do we get if we complete that? If we pass the inspection, we get 5,000 monies which is actually quite good. That's not to be sniffed at. So five grand would be quite welcome. And then also, what's that? A little sort of trophy. Oh, that's quite fun. A clean campus trophy, like a little sort of certificate to say, yep, this school is all shiny and clean. And then rewards and unlocks. What's that? Super clean dish soap. It cleans the floor while also promoting personal hygiene, effectively killing two birds with one stone. Hang on, it's called super clean dish soap, yet it cleans the floor. Should we not have super clean floor soap? Would that not make more sense? Uh, okay, fine, never mind. So that's one of the items that goes into our thing down here, doesn't it? That's our own kind of personal inventory item type of thing. And then I imagine we could use it, I suppose, for areas of the school that are not within range of a cleaning cabinet thing. Because I don't think everywhere is going to be in range of one of those. So maybe if there are some bits which are a little bit grubbier than others, we could use our super clean dish soap and then just you know, pour it all over the floor and then go and buy some floor soap later on, possibly. But I think we could do that. Do you know what? Study week is exciting and good and we like that. You know, it's going to make the kids learn better and we get some contribution points from it. But we're going to get them anyway. We get them anyway. And the kids are doing OK. I mean, given that it's the start of the semester, it's the start of the semester. The kids haven't even come into school. 71 of the 74 children in the school as of right now are expected to pass their exams. So I think over the course of a week, it's going to be fine. We don't really need to increase their studying efficiency. I think let's go for World Hygiene Week, shall we? That could be quite fun. We get a little certificate and we get five grand if we pass. So we have to make sure that everything's all lovely and clean and spick and span. Do you know what? Yeah, let's go for that. World Hygiene Week it is. Wonderful. And there we go. It's a festival, apparently. A festival of washing our hands and sweeping up and such like. Okay, right. So we have got a lot of things to do. Fortunately, we have a great big pile of money to do it with. So I think big important job number one, get a new classroom in over here. We need another classroom here because we need to get the sort of the final round, if you like, of the arty students in. So there's year twos and year threes. We haven't got any year ones. And what I'm thinking is, could we just copy that classroom and put it there? That would make life a bit easier. Let's go and do that, shall we? Hang on. So can we copy that? Pop it over there. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of money, but not that much. Down to, okay, yeah, they are very expensive classrooms, actually, aren't they? I forgot about that. I forgot because yeah, they've got all the fancy things in and lots of posters and things to make them really good. Uh, okay, okay. Do you know what? Never mind. 
down to 73,000. That's still quite a lot of money. Uh, so what we're going to do is, hang on, so what's that little icon? A seagull. Do you know what? I'm okay with that. So seagull class, uh, sort of turtle or tortoise class, and then fish class. Yeah, okay, I'm all right with that. That's absolutely fine. So that's now in. That's all good. So we have got a few other bits and bobs to do as well. I mean, I would like to get into the shop in. I would love to get into the shop in. But I was thinking, when we zone this out, and we might do that right now, we could possibly get another set of stairs over here. Because at the moment, there's only one way to get up into this floor, and it's via that set of stairs. Which, I mean, I'm sure, from a sort of a fire safety point of view, is completely illegal and shouldn't be allowed. So I think, yeah, if we could zone that bit out, at least that bit there, and just get some stairs over here, that would be quite good. I and mean, yeah, if we can do the entire thing, because the plan is up here, we can then put our lovely observatory. A few people did point out that the observatory can just go on the floor. I think it can just go on the ground. But do you know what? It can go on the top of a thing as well. And I kind of feel, because you know, it's an observatory, it should be higher up. Because the higher up it is, the nearer it is to the stars that you're looking at with the big telescopey thing. So I think, yeah, we will put it on top of the building. I think that'll work quite well. Let's maybe... How much is that going to be? If we zone all that out, we looked at it last time, 32 and a half grand. Quite a lot of money. But you know what? Let's get that done as well. So okay that, please. So we can get that or turn into a proper sort of you know, nice area we can build on. And we can put loads of rooms in here as well. We can fit so many other rooms and their computer rooms and everything else. Right, so there we go. So down to 40 grand already. We just burnt through, what, 60 thousand what sixty five thousand monies possibly that's quite a lot of money but okay never mind it's got to be done so now they're going to work on that which is good now have we got enough money left for a shop because it would be brilliant if we could get another shop in that would be fantastic and it could go over here or it could go over here i mean that's big enough for a shop i think i think that's plenty big enough i think we put the shop over here let's get ourselves another shop because the shops make so much money it, we've got to get one in because yeah they'll just pay for everything else for days on end so where are we ah another thing we have to get in as well is a security room maybe that could go over here somewhere because yeah they kind of deal with troublemakers and contraband and all that kind of stuff uh right where are we shop 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 um school store that's it right so grab one of those minimum size nine squares we can make it relatively big so if we put that there but the door for the sort of staff member to go in can be just here. And then, uh, why can't we, why can't we put that anywhere? Why can't we put that there? School store window. Uh, is it the wrong way around, possibly? Yes, it's the wrong way around. That would be why. Uh, we'll put that maybe there. We could possibly move that little drinks machine out of the way. I think put that down like that. And then a bakery display shelf. I do find this a bit weird because surely the kids, the kids don't go into the shop. They stand outside. So they have to kind of peer through that little gap at all the shelves. But OK, we'll put that in there for now. So it's currently a level one shop. We'll go and add more things to that in a moment. So OK, well, OK for now. That's all fine. Right. So basic shop. Now, the only thing is I can't recall exactly what the other shop is selling. Um, and also, yeah, it's lacking all the things we need. It's lacking all the different shelves and what have you. So hang on. Uh, we'll just put a baguette for sale for now. That'll do. We'll come back and change that round. Right, so grab that. Pick that up and put that. Uh, I don't know. There will do. Still some water nearby. That's okay. And then there we could put... We could put all sorts over there. But, I mean, like a little... Unless... Could we maybe move that over and then put a little bench there? That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? So you can buy your things and then have a sit down. You could like buy your baguette and then sit and eat the baguette right there. That might be quite fun. So yeah, just a, oh no, a shabby bench. No, no, I want a half decent bench, thanks. Um, yeah, a normal bench, please. So pop that there. That's quite nice. And we need to get somebody to work in here as well. Possibly should have checked that we had a person working in there. Um, support staff. Here we go. So a brand new, exciting, shiny thing. Uh, you, oh, these are the, yeah, here we go. This is the really expensive person who's completely brilliant at doing the cooking. Um, Miyuki. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're a bit expensive to recruit. So yeah, you haven't got the shop skills. Neither of you have the shop skills. You're a doctor and there's two security people. Okay, so what about, 
internal recommendation for salesperson. 160 money. Who have we got? William Hughes. Okay, so no, I mean, they're okay, but they haven't got the proper certificate type thing. Or if we go through a headhunting agency, salesperson, uh, there's a doctor there now. Yeah, so sales certificate, uh, search, it's 1,200 money. But if we get a good person in, they'll make that back in the shop profit in no time. So, okay, go for that. Um, Jeffrey Hall, oh, botherations, but yeah, we need a level eight school to get you on board. Can we not filter it to get the correct people in? Because that's no good at all. Uh, okay, okay, do you know what? We're going to go for you then, rather than getting a level seven person. We'll go for a level two person. William, although, although, 21 training proficiency is a bit rubbish. Can we search again? Um, that's 24. Can we find that's 25? Can we find somebody with the actual proper qualification? You've got 31. Okay, we're getting more and more people coming in. Um, but yeah, hang on. Can we refresh that? 97% until that refreshes. Is it worth waiting for that to refresh? And then maybe seeing if we get some decent salespeople in? Because it's almost there. That's going to be a matter of minutes until that's done. Okay, right. We'll maybe come back to that. So nobody working in the shop at the moment. Uh, let's get all the things into the shop then. Let's get all of these things in. Uh, yeah, we want it to become a level three shop because that means we can get the most money out of people. I mean, that makes it brilliant. Uh, right, so let's just put some things in here. A couple of drinks machines. That's quite good. Already up to level two. Flying up the thing. Hang on. Are they the wrong way round? Okay, yeah, they are entirely the wrong way round. Hang on a minute, let's go and sort that out. So put that facing the correct way. There are little sort of, there are things sort of littered around it. That's not very good. Can we tidy that up, please? That does make it look a little bit kind of untidy, but okie doke. Um, ah, yeah, lighting. I and mean, we could, we could have some windows in here because that's going to just be open over to there. That's going to look out over whatever's in that part of the world. So we could get a lovely big window in. There you go, a long metal window. Pop that in, yay natural light. Apparently, that entire room is well lit. Although I kind of feel like maybe over here, we should put some sort of lighting arrangement because it is going to be quite dark around here. Oh, that's quite fancy. Wall-mounted spotlights. Uh, yeah, can we have those? Just because they look dramatic and exciting. Oh, there we go. The shop's got spotlights. Brilliant. Okay, I like that. Right, back to the exclusive things. So yeah, we've got the front, we've got the bakery display shelf, which I am now not entirely convinced is the right way round either. There we go, that's facing the right way. Um, a stationary shelf, small product display shelf, and a snack display shelf. Okay, so let's put, uh, again, I do find this a bit weird, but we'll put the snack, two snack shelves. In fact, that should go the back, really, because they're quite big. So put the snack shelf at the back, put those little ones in like that. So took that at the back, Keeping an eye on the money, because these things are not cheap. For some reason, it's 3,000 monies for a shelving unit. Very costly. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll get another baker. Hang on, it's maxed out already. So now, really, all we need is just one each of the things to sell all the products. So if we put that there and that there, again, is that is that the right way round? Uh, yeah, I think... I think that is, hang on, I'm not quite sure which, oh no, that's the, I don't want to move the light, no game. <laughs> not the lights, I want to pick up the, the the thing here, look, that. I think that's the right way round. Yeah, like that, I'm fairly certain that's okay. Right, so we've got the front bit in, we've got bakery stuff, we've got stationery, we need the small product display shelf, and that I think will be as done. So if we just pop that there, I think now, this shop can sell everything that we need it to sell. We've got a full range of things. However, it is, of course, lacking a few essentials, mainly a plant. We'll put the plant under the window because that's nice. Um, and then I think, do we want to put, yeah, we're going to have to put a, um, a heater into here, aren't we? We're going to put a fan in, which will kick in when it gets a bit warm, which it might do because it's summer. So we'll put that there and then we'll get the little heater and we'll just put that on that wall over there. So when it gets cold, that can make the room warm and they can all be happy. I think that should be okay. If we could get another 13 decor points, that would just push that up a little bit more and just yeah, make it a bit nicer. I mean, yeah, the red flag, we'll put that there. 
So that means we now need 10 more decor points. We could put, hang on, where's the big painting? That's 70. That's possibly a little bit overkill, isn't it? Um, what can we put in? That's 50. We need 10. Um, I mean, we could put in, oh, hang on. The coffee table could go in. That could go in at the back. Could we put, hang on, put the coffee table here, look. So that's quite good. So now we're on 85. And if we put that in, that's another, that's a nuisance because that's four points. So now we're one point off. Okay, what gives us one single solitary point? Um, how about the standard appearance chart? That's very important. We'll pop that. Um, we could, hang on, put that there. Okay, so now it's a stylish room. Of course it is. We'd have it no other way. Right, so put that there, look, and then grab that and put that there. So maybe the kids can look through here. They can order their things. And then also they can just check their appearance on the appearance chart. Okay, right, good. Another shop is in the school. So now go and find out what this shop is selling because I cannot remember at all. So bug net, cube, and sweet ring candy, which I don't recall as setting. Is that a thing that the game chose for us? So bug net, cube, candy. Okay, so this shop can sell, um, where's the thing it sells? Here, right, so, uh, bug net, so sell a kite, because that's good for entertainment. So we'll have that, and that's different to a bug net, so that's another thing. Uh, we want to make sure that, yeah, we get some good money out of them. I mean, we could, we could sell some magazines. Increases efficiency by 12% for one course when teaching arts. And we could possibly do with helping the art students out a little bit. So maybe we could sell some fashion magazines. And then maybe, yeah, well that's the thing. That's been sold downstairs, isn't it? Maybe we do sell the spicy snacks. So yeah, that's that can be for downstairs. That can be for upstairs. So it's selling a range of things. Entertainment, um, yeah, a thing to boost the arts score type things up a little bit. Arts performance. And then some delicious spicy snacks to help with the craving for snacks. Okie doke. Wonderful. Right, that's that done. And it's a level three room as well, which is fantastic. So that's all looking fabulous. Right, down we go to here. Now we need to get some more kids in over here. And of course, over there as well. So let's now go and recruit some children. So we want to go to student admission and we have to be careful about who we get now. Let's go and have a little look. So right, Theatre Boulevard, they are... Uh, oh, hang on. Do we not know what they're all about these days? Uh, oh, things look a little bit different now. Again, since the game has been updated, we're not quite sure what things they want to learn. But yeah, we have to look over here, I think. So they want to learn humanities and science. Okay, we know that. So ground cheer. We'll get a few of those in. Um, yeah, who else can we get in? Versewood. Yeah, we want to get them in. So admit Versewood in. They can all come in. Archimedesburg, they're good. We like them. Um, so yeah, admit you two, because yeah, we get quite a bit of money from you two coming in. You're mostly about sciencey stuff, but that's okay. We're pretty good at that. Um, also, can we chuck some money at them? Just chuck some money at their infrastructure, just to make them like us a bit. We'll do three payments over there to Archimedesburg. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you for all you have done. Your reputation among the community has risen to 40, 42%. In fact, there'll be a small increase in the number of applicants. Right, that's pretty good. Uh, and then wealthy suburbs. These are the arts and humanities kids. So get all of those in. Uh, they're on 73%. Okay, so grab them. Theatre Boulevard. Not quite sure about them. Nothing in Versewood. Finch Bay, we're not going to go for them because they want sports stuff. Theatre District, just one very arty person. Do you know what? You can come in. You can come in. We'll chuck some money. Hang on, yeah. Can we chuck some... Can we chuck some money at you? There. Uh, 313. Okay, so they like us a bit more. That's quite nice. And who's at the bottom of that list? Uh, oh, Mudford. Okay, get all the ground shear people in first because they pay a little bit more money. So admit all there. And then we've got to work out how much room we've got left. So in here, uh, let's get in. Uh, oh, we've, this is going to be confusing, isn't it now? Hang on a minute. Uh, number of students. 
Oh no, but I should have done it all individually at the time. Okay, right now I've got to figure out which are the arty ones. So these are all, you're an arty one. Oh, botherations. Are the top three, no, you're an arty one. Um, You want, hang on. You want art and sport. Why do you want art and sport? That's a little bit concerning. We'll have to boot you out. Uh, right, you're going to go into bunny class. You are also in bunny class. Uh, right, you are arty. Okay. So all the people that want to do the art thing, they can go into, what was it? The seagull. Right, okay, let me put these into the right classes. I've done this in a slightly wonkaloid way, but it's okay. We'll get there in the end. We shall muddle through. Okay, so I've moved most people over, but yeah, we've got Walter Nelson there, who likes art and sport. We shouldn't have possibly got a sporty person in. Can we get rid of you? Expel a student. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we might have made a terrible, terrible mistake there, because now we're going to have to do some sort of sporty stuff. Um... I mean, we might be okay. I think we do have a sporty teacher. Do we not have a sporting teacher? I think there is one kind of hanging around somewhere. So we might be okay with that. Um, I think, just to get rid of one of the many nagging messages up there, let's go and give ourselves a homeroom teacher. Um, Scott Mann. Scott Mann, the art teacher. Um, not looking great over there. Um, everybody else, though... All the other RT teachers are employed doing other jobs. Um, you are not the best. You're not the best, my good sir. Scott, man, you're not going to do a good job in there, I don't think. Although, you've only got 26. We can't get your management up anymore. Is it worth possibly hiring another teacher? Um, Lisa Scott, art teacher. You'd be quite good. You'd be very good. Because you're an art teacher and they're mostly RT kids. Do you know what? We're going to have you. Lisa Scott, in you come. You can immediately go in into that room there. And boom, right there we go. So that should get rid of some of the messages. Um, oh, we need to make our little bicycle rack thing bigger over here. Um, How are we going to do that? Because there's not really any room over there. There's no room to put any more bicycle spots in. Um, I suppose we could kind of put... We could shove a few over into this area, but it would look a little bit untidy and a bit rubbish, but maybe that's what we'll have to do. Oh, I kind of liked our little thing set up over there. Oh, botherations. Okay, hang on. What's that saying? Um, oh, that's from Sanford Academy. That's Headmaster Donald. Hello, Headmaster Donald. Um, yeah, you're getting grumpy that we're taking people from Archimedes, but don't worry about it. It's all going to be fine. We're all going to get on. Okay, back we go to trying to get students in. So, student admission. So now we can go and get 10 people from Mudford. So Theatre Boulevard, we're not quite sure what they're after though. But yeah, they're sporty look. So yeah, who did I get in then? Who did I get in? Why have we got a sporty person in? I must have accidentally picked somebody up. Were they from Versewood or something? Oh well, no. Um, did I pick a Theatre Boulevard person up? Wealthy Suburbs has got no other people. Uh, yes, yeah, it's going to be Mudford, isn't it? So there's 10 people from Mudford. How many people have we got in this class? We've got 14 out of 25. The only thing is, we know that we're going to get a lot more people coming back in. So from Mudford, what about we pick, we cherry pick the good students. So you can come in and you can come in. And then I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay. So uh, hang on a moment. Where are you? Um, nope, that's not right. But that's the right bone. Right, so you go into the bunny class. You go into bunny class. That leaves us with you, Walter Nelson. You might possibly be a little bit of an issue. What do we do with Walter Nelson and his sporting dreams? I suspect Walter might struggle with the sporting side of things. Although looking at his sporting requirements, he needs 88 art points but only 18 sport points. We might be able to just kind of bumble through with that. That might be okay, but we're going to have to have some sort of sport lessons for him to go to. And nobody else cares about that. It's just going to be you. Oh, this is a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Can we not just sort of, can we not let you go? I don't think we can, can we? I don't think we can. We can't just sort of make you go away. Um... Okay, right. We're going to have to try and do our best for you. You're from the theatre district. 
Um, right. So the theatre district kids all like that then? Theatre district. Oh, maybe you're a bit different. Maybe we need to be a little bit more select. Oh no, we did pick you. We must have picked you. Oh dear. Okay, right. That wasn't a good move. That was a terrible move and we shouldn't have done that. Not going to pick you guys. And you guys are just all, you've got explosive tempers. So you're going to be particularly tricky to deal with. Okay, never mind. We're going to have to put you somewhere. So Walter Nelson, pop over into the seagull class. And we're just going to have to try to make do as best we can. I don't think it's going to go very well, if I'm being honest. But never mind, never mind. You live and learn. So go to here. So now we've got, yeah, seagull class. So if we now auto do that, yes, please. Right, boop, boop, boop. They've sorted that out. But yeah, look at that. So Walter Nelson is going to struggle with the whole sports side of things. More sports knowledge points required. Unless we just somehow boost his sport knowledge points by giving him sporting books and things. Is there a thing we can do there? Oh dear, yeah, we shouldn't have got you on board, Walter Nelson. This is going to be a big old problem. Uh, Jay, you know what? That's okay. We'll muddle through for now. We're going to have to sort of put up with that. Uh, yeah, one exam failure. We know who that's going to be. Right, now maybe we've got to come over here and sort this out a little bit. So how can we fit more of these in? Because that's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Um, we need to make it a bit bigger. How big are they? So they could potentially... Yeah, we could get... We could move it over a little bit. So could we expand it out like that and then could we get uh which way round is it yeah rotate it round so another bit like that and another bit like that okay so okay that is that good enough for bicycle parking spots i think it is okay we've sorted that little problem out so that's that's good that's one problem undone we now just have the one over here the problem all of our own making which is a bit of a nuisance. What if, what if we went down to here? So class one, two, with our one failing student. The others, look, are just absolutely fine. They're fine. So what if we get rid of one humanities session and we go, do you know what? Enjoy some sport, everybody. Um... That's going to get you a teeny tiny bit of that. But are they still going to pass their humanities? Yes. So what if we then just do two sports courses? Um, we might need to do a third. That's not very good, is it? Virginia Scott is not going to meet the teaching proficiency. Anne Lee isn't going to meet the teaching proficiency. Oh, dear. Okay. Right. Uh, also, hang on. We need to do some tidying up as well, don't we? Um... I think every day has a cleanup on it. Let's do a cleanup on a, I don't know, Wednesday. That'll do. Another cleanup on a Wednesday. Good stuff. And I think that, oh, hang on. What morning jog? What if we do a morning jog on that day to boost that, to maybe help that go up a little bit, and then do cleanup on a Tuesday? Are we okay? Have we done everything to open the school up? Are we actually all fine? Is everything all good? So we're going to have to wait a few minutes for that to refresh. If we unpause time for a second, that's going to tell us about failure, isn't it? Um, yeah, okay. So tick time on ever so slightly. So here we go. Got to move time on a little bit because I want that to refresh. Okay, pause time again. Have we got any shop people? Um, yes, but we can't recruit them. So you're down here. Susan Simmons is very good at salesy stuff, but we need a level seven school. That is a bit of a nuisance. So we could go for Mark Miller. You're okay. And you could get your training. Yeah, we can get that up a little bit more, possibly. Or we could go over here. Is it worth having one last look at the headhunting agency? 1,200 money. Hope they give us somebody we can actually recruit. So come on, level six school or below, please. Seven. Okay, right. That's just not going to fly right now. Okay, but we're going to go for... We're going to go for Mark Miller. We've gone for Mark Miller. Right, hang on a minute, Mark Miller. Let's chuck you into the shop, please. Um, yeah, school store, Mark Miller. Okie doke, and you're going to work your way toward the sales certificate, which is a good thing. So that's now all done. I think the person here is working toward getting their certificate, aren't they? Yeah, they're working toward getting a medical certificate. So that's quite good news. 
Right. I'm a li little bit concerned about our person over here. Because, yeah, we should never have got them in. But do you know what? There you go. You live and learn. Uh, and then, yeah, we want to make sure that when that's done, we put some stairs in. So we get some stairs in. And then could we also possibly... What's down? Is there anything over here? We could maybe put some stairs over here as well. So we've got three different ways of moving between the different levels of the school. That would be quite good. Timothy Young's training is complete. Okay. Uh, continue training. Timothy Young... Do more in... What are you doing? Teaching. Uh, yeah, okay. More in teaching, please. That's a bit of a steal. It's only 575 monies. And then over here... So who did we have down here that was struggling? So you, the humanities teacher. So humanities and then Anne Lee also struggling a bit there. Uh, the only thing is they've kind of reached the limits of their abilities. Oh, no, she hasn't. So Virginia Scott hasn't. So can we click on you training ah there we go that's quite handy it's all right you get your training up so you go up to there please so that's going to be good how are the others doing everyone else seems to be okay but you're also not okay however it's going to be an absolute fortune to get your stuff done because you are at your sort of training proficiency limit thingamajig can we run time on a teeny tiny bit hope that everybody runs into the shops and spends all their money and then we can possibly... Okay, an extreme amount of money is pouring in. Is that from the shops? Are the shops... Oh, hang on. What's that mean? What's that mean? There's a little sign there. What does that mean? Um, do I need to be concerned about that sign? I'm not entirely sure what that's showing us. There's a sign there, but I don't know what it means. Are we supposed to do something with it? I'm not entirely sure. So what's wrong with that room? Um... It's too hot. Oh, that hasn't got a fan in it. Hang on a minute. We can sort that out. That's nice and simple. Get a fan. Do you know what? We'll put a couple of fans in, in fact. There you go. Don't you worry. That room is now lovely and usable again. Marvellous. Um, yeah. What do we do with that thing above your head? Am I supposed to be... Yeah, look, there's a little sort of tag. Um, okay. I don't know what we do. Hang on. Do, do you have that up here? Shop person? Oh, they're not there yet. They're not there. Okay, never mind. Uh, a new semester has begun. How about a speech? Absolutely. We like the speeches. There we go. Right. Wonderful stuff. There's Betty. Let's welcome our headmaster. Go on, Betty. We can do this. Maybe we can get that sporty person to do some good sports stuff. Right, already plus five. So we're on 16 out of 100. Right, friendly opening, because that's what we do. Welcome back to another promising semester. Up by 15. Talk about academics. Talk about life. Talk about teachers. Okay. So, I mean, which one do we do? I can't recall which one does what. It'd be good if we had a little reminder saying, yeah, when you did this, it was plus 15 or whatever. Um, study plans. That might help. That might possibly help the, uh, the kid with the sport demands that we're going to struggle with otherwise. Possibly we do that. Let's talk about academics. It might be a bit boring. Up to 40. Okay, so plus 10. Although, wasn't that on 31 up to 40? Okay, right, numbers. Uh, right, commend, uh, console, tantrum, right, commend, because the other two are a bit mean. So 40 up to 55, everybody's feeling proud. And then holistic growth, strength in humanities, science, self-reflection, award bonus, or forget failure. Um, what do we do? What do we do with that? Uh, what's holistic growth do? Humanities and science points. Uh, that is humanities. That's science points specifically. Self-reflection. Can we do an art one? Can we do an arty thing? No. Uh, we could do that. Award select students with a scholarship to encourage everyone. So it costs a thousand money, but people get energised because they can be inspired. Let's do that. And now the scholarship goes to... Da, 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 plus five. Uh, talk about... Oh, crikey. Yeah, everybody's on fire again. Good grief. Uh, talk about life. Talk about teachers. Maybe if we urge the teachers to upskill, the teachers might then be a little bit better at teaching the sporty kid. Let's go for that one. We've never done that. I have something to say to the teachers. Up to 65. Okay, that's not too bad. Hard at research or adept tutor. Uh, research proficiency will be improved. Uh, not that bothered. They're getting through it anyway. Let's do that. Adept tutor. 
teaching proficiency will be improved for a period of time. Okay, yeah, we'll do that, please. Let's work harder at teaching up to 76. Although it was on 65, plus 10 is not 76. Um, and there we go, wrap up. We do a heart gesture at the end because of course we love you up to 86. Wow. Okay, 51 of the students are energetic, 23 have adept tutor. Right, that's really good. Uh, there we go, let's take a group picture, okie doke. Let's do, have we got any new kind of poses in this new version of the thing? Can we do a deep bow maybe? There we go, and there we go, that's quite good. Catch you mid bow. And then look, the kids are all sat down now, that's good. Yep, done with that. They're gonna remember their days at dear old cover college, absolutely. Pause time for a second. Pause time. Are we still struggling with the kid over there? Okay, this is just a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Okie dokie, what else can we do? You need possibly one more lesson. I think maybe if we, how are they doing for arts actually? They don't need that much in the way of art. They need more in terms of humanities actually than art. What if we go boop like that that means that they're going to pass. They're going to pass their sports stuff. And then if we just put, um, hang on, yeah, humanities more than art, isn't it? Yeah, so what if we just go, yep, yeah, humanities in that bit there, that's all going to be fine. Right, wonderful. And just check all the rooms, biology, labs. Right, humanities classroom. That's what we have to get in next. And then we need a projection room as well. That's going to be in by the end of the week. Right, so we need to get, yeah, humanities classroom in by tomorrow. We have got 33 grand, so we could possibly look at that, but I was going to send some teachers away to do some training stuff. Um, yeah, so you could possibly do with going. So Virginia Scott, Timothy Young. Timothy is actually okay. You're okay. Uh, yeah, Ann Lee. So what if we send Ann Lee and Virginia Scott away? So Anne Lee, hang on a minute, where's the map? Anne Lee and Virginia Scott, over to here, please. There you go, Virginia Scott. Um, you've got a thing on you for some reason. Okay, and uh, Anne Lee. Whereabouts are you, Anne Lee? Reveal yourself, there you go. Uh, yeah, so you two, you two go away. So you two clear off over there. We'll spend 20 grand on getting your sort of competency score raised. And then you can do some more training. And then... Have we got any sort of training spots left? I think we've got... Yeah, we've got one. One over here. Who can do some training? Uh, Kenneth Baker. Humanities teacher. Become better at management, please. There you go. That's never a bad thing. Just you know, keep that score ticking up and it's going to be good. Right. All the kids are leaving the, uh, leaving the meeting hall. Some of them are on fire. But you know, that's okay. It's the fire of learning. It's a passion. A fiery passion. Apart from these are arguing. Don't argue, kids. Stop arguing. Right, run time on. Hang on, what's that room complaining about? It's... Oh, it's oh, it's really hot. Maybe that's why they're on fire. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Need to put some fans into there. Because, yeah, that room was like a pre-done room, wasn't it? That room was like a pre-done thing. So, um, yeah, we just put some fans in like that. Look, that will do. Hopefully that's going to keep it nice and cool. I think so. I think that's going to keep the temperature down. Right, stairs. Can we look at some stairs, please? Where are stairs? They're not in there. Are they in? They're over here somewhere, aren't they? They're in here. There we go. Staircases. Okay, so could we... Hang on, is that... Is that a wooden staircase? Could we apply a normal brick staircase? Oh, we did the brick one first, did we? Okay, very fancy. Uh, so let's go for another one over here. And I think we just put it right next to that thing there. So rotate it round and then just pop that there because then you can go immediately round here and go up the stairs. And then we want one over here, I'd say. The only thing is I'm not entirely sure where. I think maybe, what if we put it there, rotated it round. So put it so it's like that. So you can come down and go into the sort of assembly hall type thing. And then we've still got room down here for other bits and bobs. A security room or whatever else we need. Maybe that kind of thing. Oh, no. Uh, oh, B house office are one point. They are one point stressed out. Ah, but they do. Oh, they've got the shop. They've got the additional shop. Ah, no. That can go into facilities. There we go. I quite like this little sort of management thing. 
I do think that's quite a nice touch because, of course, it would be quite hard to manage everything. So, yeah, uh, specialist teaching. That's all. I think the Impressionism gallery would go down into there. Ah, but there's a classroom. So that classroom is, hang on a minute, that should go over there for now into B House, which does put them over the limit again, which is a bit of a nuisance. Uh, however, we could possibly change these things around. We could remove Cat Caretaker. We're going to have to replace it somewhere else, of course. Right, get rid of that. We need to get something in which brings down the uh, thing above, the management points. That one there, management proficiency of managed departments plus five, corresponding salaries plus five. Management proficiency. I want these things to come down. Where's that? We've done that before on some of these. Whereabouts is that? Uh, that's tuition. That's research. That's like really good teaching stuff. That's research, tips, not so bothered about these things. Um, that one there, management proficiency of management departments plus 10. Is that that? No, hang on. Which is the thing which brings these numbers down? Hang on, which one is it? It's, it's something we need right now for Bee House Office. Hang on, let me go and find out which one it is. I think it's that one, Sound Judgment. Okay, so do we have that already? That's Contract Fulfillment. Hang on, so where's Sound Judgment? That's got to be it there. That one. So if we do that, okay, brilliant. They can now manage all those things again. That's all very good. I mean, yeah, really, in the long run, again, we do need another, another sort of, um, another little management office thing. We possibly need a few. So one to manage some of the other classrooms, so we can have like two houses, so we can have Bee House and whatever the other one was, Frog House, whatever it is. Um, and then yeah, we could do with maybe some of these other bits being broken up as well. So we could have like retail, so we could have the shops and the sort of uh, the cafeteria going into one thing and that kind of stuff. And then facilities could be solely facility based things like, you know, drinks and toilets and things. Maybe eventually we get round to that. But I think yeah, this is OK for now. This is pretty good. I think yeah, we possibly could do with sending the people away on training courses. Or if we were feeling particularly harsh, we could take the people out of it because yeah, they're teachers. So Susan Turner there is a teacher. She shouldn't really be in there. So is it worth getting somebody in who can actually do the job properly? Because, yeah, that's now a support staff role, isn't it? Uh, where are we? Admin. So hang on. Talent Marketplace. None of those are administrators. Headhunting Agency. What if we went to Administrator? Said, yeah, rudimentary management certificate. Just get the basics in. Um, it's just one person at a time. But they are pretty good. They're pretty good. Do you know what? Do we get them in? We can get them as well. So that would free up some teachers to go and just do some more teaching around the place. I think maybe that's what we do. We thought about this last time, didn't we? So, right, Frank Roberts, in you come, and you can go into possibly B House office. So I think, yeah, eventually, yeah, are you any better than you at the minute? Where are you? Um, Certificate-wise, Frank Roberts... Management 24, whereas Billy Hall has got Management 34, but you can go on training courses to improve. So how about we pop you in there because that's your proper actual job. That's now going to come down and it's going to go horribly wrong, but we can then train you, can we? Have we got any training capacity left? Oh, botheration, no. Okay, right, This maybe that was a terrible plan. Uh, okay, hang on though. Scott Mann is nearly done. Come on, Scott Mann. Finish your training quickly and then we can put this person over here because B House Office is sort of collapsing in on itself at the minute. So if we get that done, that's going to be good. Oh, OK. Apparently we've gone up to that. We've increased our score. Oh, we've gone past five and a half thousand. Hooray, we're on stage four. So now we need to get to eight thousand building score. We can get a good chunk of that using the magic of carpets uh, and then build a basic wonder. We are going to try to do that. I'd like to get that underway today if we could. Um, okay, yep, yeah, that's good. That's exciting. I'm going to keep an eye on this just to make sure that ticks over okay. And then, yes, you can go and do some training because that's quite important to do. You've got a thing over your head as well. You're the shop person. Why have they got little icons over their heads? What does that mean, game? I don't know what that means. Health science. Okay, so we've got that. High-end cleaning supplies, fancy sinks, fancy toilets. Okay, 
That's really good, right? Continue our research, pause the game in the background. So everything in lifestyle is done. Management is just the car parking lot. Education is advanced sport. Okay, do the car parking lot. Let's get our research people working on that. That's probably going to take a long time. And then just get this final bit of training done for Scott Mann. And boop. Oh, hang on. There's a problem down there as well. Right. So confirm, pause, deal with you guys, customize training. So you two get your training proficiencies up, make your way back. We'll train you up and then go to here. And where's the new person? They have got a slightly different background. There we go. Right, so you, train you in management. Yes, please. 0.4 of a day to get that done. Wonderful. And now I think, uh, are we nearly at the point where we can get some more students in? Uh, no, five hours away. Okay, that's fair. So five hours we have to wait to then get that done. Although, hang on a second. We can get another few points toward that. That's good. Two more people, we get that goal done get some more contribution points, get that goal done. We're making our slow but steady way up to the next school level. Taking a little while, but yeah, we'll get there, I think, maybe not this time around, but I think we will get there possibly in the next video, which I think would be quite good because then we can start getting different teachers in and everything else. But right, let's wait for the training to be done for you. So hopefully B House Office can then be slightly better managed. I'm have to do that again afterwards, maybe, but that's okay. That's fine. We can muddle through with that. And then, yeah, possibly get you two replaced as well. You know, in good time. In good time. Not right now. We'll do it a bit later on because, yeah, we've not got loads of money right now to keep sort of, you know, firing people and replacing them and hiring and all that kind of stuff. So let's just kind of muddle through right now with what we've got and make sure the B house is up and running as effectively as it can be. Okay, Timothy Young's training is complete. Maybe we carry that on. So Timothy Young, yeah, more teaching proficiency, please. That's got to be a good thing. So you become better at doing the teaching. Um, how are we doing for everybody else? Is everybody else looking good for training? Uh, oh yeah, Kenneth Baker's about to finish his training. That's good, so that's management. We'll see, do you need more management? Maybe a little bit more management for Kenneth Baker. That could be quite good. That's only 770 monies, that's okay, we can deal with that. George Moss is gonna take ages. But yeah, Frank Roberts, look at that, just 0.1 day now, flying through. So yeah, hopefully we can get that sorted. How are we looking for that? We're nearly at that point as well, which is good. And how are we looking for this? Okay, time is ticking down on these as well. So soon enough, we can get some more students in and kind of you know, top our numbers up a bit because they're looking a bit low to be fair. The numbers are looking quite low. How many kids are in that classroom? 15. And right now over here, we've only got seven. That's not very many, is it? That's not very many at all. Uh, right. Okay. So let's make sure we get that done first. So I'd like to get this sorted out, but then, yeah, we need to look at we need to look at getting some more students in when we can. Oh, look at that. Well, I was going to sort of go, oh, we'll come back when it's done, but we might as well just run time on now. Here we go. And boop. Pause time for a second, please. So, verse wood. We like it righteous. Low management costs. Sweeps the floor without being asked. Prevents the occurrence of unwanted situations. Oh, we like you, Donald Martin. Uh, so how many do we need to go into that new class over there. So we need another, what's that, nine people. So I think you, you and you can come in. Oh, okay, hang on a minute. We've now done that thing. Hooray, population victory, moving close to that. We don't really care about that one, but okie doke. So that's three more people. Um, and then ground shear, hang on, Archimedes Berg. They're good. We'll have another three from there. So that's six we've admitted. I'm just going to really check to make sure. So hang on. Yeah, all those go into... So hang on a minute. Yeah, that's going to be 22 out of 25. Is that right? Have I done the numbers right? I probably haven't done the numbers right. 22 out of 25. Right. And then we need three more. Um, Mudford. There are a lot of Mudford people. We might take them from ground shear. We might take them from ground shear. Uh, yeah, good at everything. We'll have you. We'll have you. And we'll have you. I feel bad cherry picking the sort of air quotes, better students, but it just makes life easier for everybody, doesn't it? So there we go. You can go into the bunny class. Right, that is done. Another 25 students over there in the bunny class, ready to go and do another three years here at Wonderful Covered College. So now we need to get you lot in. So Theatre Boulevard, possibly a nuisance, but wealthy suburbs, another five people. 
admit all of you lot, and then we'll pop you lot into that class. So that's now 12 people into here. So yeah, if we could just get a few more, if we could get a few more, that'd be great. But yeah, they're not interested. Nobody there. Theatre, an art prodigy. Now this is tricky because we've got Theatre District Art Prodigy. You do want a lot of arty stuff. We're quite good at arty stuff. But can we, are you going to want sport? Yeah, look, hang on. You might be a sporty person, but we can sort of muddle through with that, I think. Do you know what? We're going to admit you. And we're going to get you in. This is going to be brilliant. So hang on. Oh, no. <laughs> we need some more bicycle sheds. Where are we going to put those? Um, right. So go to here. Pop you into there. We haven't got a nagging message saying you're going to fail all your classes, which is encouraging. Uh, you're down there, but you have only just joined. So yeah, you're doing pretty well for somebody who has literally just come in through the door. That's not too bad at all. And I don't think we can get anybody else. We could take these guys on, but I'd be a bit hesitant to do so. So what we'll do is we'll wait another eight hours, wait for tomorrow, and then just see what Wealthy Suburbs has to offer. And then we'll just go from there, possibly. We could just take it from there. But okay, that'll do for now. That's all fine. Right, little bit of a problem with the bicycle sheds. Um, right, we're going to have to... I mean, either, either we save up and buy that plot of land can't buy it right now because it's really expensive. Um, and we just expand our bike shed back that way. Or, hang on. Could we potentially... There's a load of space down here which we don't need for anything. Could we possibly have a load of bike sheds just in a big line? Are we allowed to do that? Does it have to be a square shape? Or can we just have them in a big long line? Um, hang on. Bike... Uh, yeah, bicycle shed. So... Does it have to be a uh, minimum size 16 squares? But I don't think it has to be a particular kind of orientation. It doesn't have to be like square or rectangular or whatever. So it could be too wide by however many long. So we could potentially, hang on, we could put one over here. What if we did that look? So pop that like that. And then we need a gate to get into here. I mean, this is a little bit, it's a little bit grim around here, but it's fine. This is going to work. It's going to be good. If we put that in here, like that, and then we could get another couple of these in, it's going to be a bit of a squish. It could be a bit of a squash and a squeeze. But there we go. Two more of those goes in. Yes. There is a tree there. We might to get rid of the tree. Demoli Sorry, old oak tree. We'll replant you somewhere else. We replanted that tree. We didn't knock it down, honest. Right. There we go. That's all that sorted. More bike spaces down here. Not perfect, but they'll do for now. And then eventually, yeah, we'll move when we sort of expand out into that area or whatever. We'll kind of make that a bit bigger and we'll shifty things around. But for now, I think that's looking pretty good. Right, Frank Roberts. Okay, we want to continue your training. Yes, please. So hope. hang on, have you got Bee House sorted? Is Bee House now managed properly? Uh, management, Bee House office, yeah. 52 out of 54. Okay. So we just keep that creeping up so we can accommodate more things, which is good. But for now, everything is looking sort of vaguely organised-ish. Hooray for things looking vaguely organised-ish. Virginia Scott completes her training. Do you know what? Carry on doing that, please. That seems like a good idea. We've got some things up here to collect. Oh, yeah, we'll have that big pile of cash. And we'll have that cash and points as well. So we're now less than a thousand of those points away to going up to, what's the next one? A city school, a level seven school. That would be quite good. And, uh, oh no, hang on. How long have we got to wait for them? Another seven hours, that's ages. Okay, never mind. But looking at that up there, 71 out of our 112 students are expected to pass and they've not even completed day one yet. So I think by the end of the week, that's going to be fine. That's going to be absolutely fine. It's going to be up at the top, and it's going to look all wonderful. But uh, yeah, there we go. Things are looking good. Another classroom in. They're all learning. And I think the only thing left, really, to look at at the moment, there's a couple of things. One is maybe get the observatory wonder building over here. I'd like to get that in. But then, yeah, we do need to get in the... What was it again? It was one of these things. It was a humanities classroom. Okay, so what's that? That's a humanities room. Is that different to a humanities classroom? 
I'm not in... So hang on. Hum. Humanities class... That is a humanities classroom. It must be clashing. It must be clashing with somebody else. So, with that in mind, maybe now it's time to get the computer room in. We can have one of these, but they can deal with anything. They can cope with any kind of demand. So it can be a humanities classroom or it can be a science lesson. If anything's kind of double booked or whatever, they can go to the computer room and do what they need to do. So I'm thinking that's going to stay a bit like that. So that's going to be the entrance to the school. Maybe we have the computer room up here. The only thing is I don't know how big the computer room needs to be. I'm not entirely sure how big such a thing has to be. If we put it like that like how big are the desks because we've got to fit 25 of these in so is that going to be big enough i genuinely have no idea um that is oh that is four computers so if we took it uh, i'd like them to not be in the corners if at all possible that's four uh what's this information podium ah right okay so this is the front then is it this is going to be the front so, which way are they facing? Yeah, like that. So, you're going to look that way. So, pop that in like that. Whoa! There's a giant mega screen. Okay, put that there. And then pick that up. And maybe move that over out the way, possibly. So, they can stand in the corner and talk to people. Uh, this room is nowhere near big enough. It's nowhere near big enough. That's four things. So, that's another... That's eight. That's, that's twelve. So, we can fit... 24 in but it's going to be a bit of a squish isn't it um so we're going to need to maybe move it out over there possibly that's not ideal is it really it needs two more squares that way which would be a good job hang on hang on we can do that um yeah we just add them on like that so boop that in like that and then we can pick that up move that over pick oh, hang on a minute move it nearer like that pick that up then grab another one of those. They're 4,000 a piece. Oh, this room's really expensive. Okay, that's 4, 8, 12. That's 16 seats. We need another three. We can't afford it. Okay, we're going to okay it for now. We're going to go, yay, okay. I mean, the computer room is, it's, it's dark. It's cold. Nobody can do anything with it. Don't come to the computer room, anybody. Don't come and use it. It's a death trap in here right now. <laughs> Please avoid the computer room at all costs. It hasn't even got a plant. That's how bad this room is. Um, right, so then, yeah, we need to just get a little bit more money. And I think if we get to about 20 grand, we could then go and sort that room out. That would be okay. But yeah, at the moment, it's it's not a good room. It's a bad, bad place to go. Don't go to the computer room, folks. And they've come back and they've got some more training stuff going on. Right, so you and you. So hang on. Virginia Scott... And Lee, can we nip down very quickly and just get them training? Is there any training capacity left? Uh, oh, Virginia Scott is training. Oh, okay. And Lee is not. But Frank Roberts is just about to complete some stuff there. Frank Roberts doing... What was that? Training course for Frank Roberts. Continue training. Uh, I think... We didn't tell you to do teaching, did we? I think we told you to do management. Uh, yeah, want you to do that again, please. Did we get you doing teaching proficiency? That's a big old waste of time. Okay, confirm that. That's fine. There we go. Uh, and then, yes, if we could get to about 20 grand, which might happen sooner rather than later, courtesy of the wonderful shops, uh, then, yeah, we'll work on that room. How are the shops doing? Quick check. That one. Uh, where is it? Uh, made... 1600 that's okay oh hang on hang on thing happening over here we haven't seen this in ages we've not seen this in absolutely ages um okay who's nearby richard cox richard cox go and sort that out please there's some shenanigans happening and you must deal with it immediately uh right yes yeah, so they can deal with that um yeah how much did the other shop make have they nerfed the shops uh no they haven't nerfed the shops maybe it's because that shop is is newer Maybe it's newer, so people aren't quite as familiar with it. This one is in a very good place. It's in a very good spot. I mean, that one's still making money. It's still making cash, just not as much as the other one. But there we go, not to worry. Uh, I mean, look, we're almost at 20 grand. We're going to go and sort this room out. We're going to go and sort the computer room out. Okie dokie. So go back into here. 
we're going to get the basics in. So heating and fans and windows and things. So temperature controls. We're going to need a heater in there for when it gets cold. So let's put the heater uh, maybe there, look. Pop that in. We are, of course, going to have a plant right there, naturally. And then we need some lighting. So we could have, yeah, fluorescent lamps will probably do the job. So if we could put one there and then one at that end, suitable lighting for the room. Don't want it too bright in a computer room because then you get glare on the screen. It's really irritating. So there we go. It's already a level four room. It's already a, a tier four facility room. That's really impressive. And then, yeah, we want to get ourselves something to cool the room down a bit. Uh, I mean, at some point we do want to invest in some proper air conditioning, but right now we'll go for some good old trusty fans. So there we go, like that. So is that now going to keep the temperature down? Yes, it is. Right, edit this room. Let's go back in here. So we've got, that's, what's that? Uh, four, uh, 16. So that's, put them over here actually. That's 20. That's 24. And, oh, we're going to go into the, we might go into negative money. That's 20, uh, is that 28 possibly? But there you go, yeah. So that's now got more than enough seats we need for people to come in here and do what they need to do. We're just going to move that over a tiny bit because, and for some reason, it's decided to try and rotate round. We're going to, no, 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 no. <laughs> that way, that way. There we go. And then maybe move that over ever so slightly. So it's a bit more central. We have no money left to do anything else. I mean, I want to put some decor in. And I want to put other things in. I want to make it look nice. It's an average room. I want it to look nicer than average. However, no cash right now. But the computer room is now up and running. So are they going to then go and use the comp yes, computer room? People are using the computer room. So really, now all we need... Oh, I said all we need. All we need is a sculpture studio and a projection room. A sculpture studio? Can we do a sculpture studio? Yeah, we're in serious debt. The game's going to get very grumpy. Don't worry, game. It's all going to be fine. You can come in. All the kids can come in. Give us all their money. I mean, contribute to the school via the means of the shop and the cafeteria. That's all going to be fine. Although we might possibly just have to lay off the spending for a very short while while that ticks back up. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. There's a little kind of love letter type thing going on here. What's that? Okay, I'm intrigued. We're going to click on that. I was going to look at arty stuff. Oh, it's down a floor. Love confession. Jessica Taylor is confessing their undying love to Harold Murphy. <gasps> this is fantastic. Is anybody else in? They're in the headmaster's office, but Betty isn't in here right now. She's kind of gone out. So they've taken this opportunity in this nice quiet room to just have a little bit of a little bit of a romantic chit chat. Hang on. How's it going to go? How's it going to go? I have something to tell you. Oh, this is brilliant. What is it? I look, Timothy Young, you're ruining the moment with your training. Brilliant. Good job. I love you. Please go out with me. What was the answer? I'm sorry. I'm not ready for this yet. <gasps> I understand. Oh, no. I training courses are ruining the moment. Stop it. And I think they said I have to go now. Uh, okay. Goodbye. Uh, bye. Oh, dear. That was... That was sad. That was sad. Hopefully over time, those two can, you know, those two can work things out and they can become good buddies and eventually they can, you know, do all that kind of lovey-dovey stuff. But I think, yeah, not ready for it at the moment. Oh, there we go. That's a new thing as well. They've added a lot of new things in the recent updates because, yeah, we've not seen that before either. That's very good. Oh, hang on. How are we looking for here? Oh, okay. Things have kind of refreshed. So wealthy suburbs... Get another three in from you. So admit all you three. That's what we want to do. Um, Theatre Boulevard, a temper, people, Versewood. Can't get those in, although they probably are quite good. Finch Bay, yeah, not so bothered about them. Um, Theatre District. Yeah, you're, hang on, you're an art prodigy as well. And you're romantic. Oh, we, we just saw the whole romance side of things. That's exciting. We'll get you in as well. So... Let's go back over. Hang on, we go to here, can't we? Go to there. So that's another four people. So you are looking at... Ah, you're a sporty person. Fortunately, we're working on the sporty side of things. Um, yeah, go into that class. So that class now has 16 people in it. Is that right? It's got 17 people. 
Okay, so a little bit more than the previous years because it's ticking up, because we're getting more applicants, because we're doing good work and the people of that community are impressed with us. Okay, that's very good. Um, I was going to say, I was going to say that, you know, it's sort of the middle of lesson one and we're out of our debt already, which is completely brilliant. So that's really, really good. Um, I was also going to point out that maybe we should pick up and move the computer room because I think really this should be our little arty corner. We've got the art studio there. We're going to have the fancy impressionism gallery there. And we should really have the other art studio. What was it? The That thing. The sculpture studio. That should go in here. So really, I kind of think we should move the computer in. But very fortunately, you can just pick it up and move it around like magic. I don't quite know how that works, but that's how it's going to do its thing. So where are we going to put it? That's the question. And it's... Oh, it's gone a bit weird on my... Oh, it's gone a bit weird on the cursor. I can't move it any further that way for some reason. It's kind of stuck. Hang on, have I got to move it... Oh, dear. Um, Maybe... Does that fit... Oh, it's a bit... Hang on, this is a bit grim, isn't it? Oh, gosh, right, yeah, that's a bit weird. Could it go... Could it go like that? The only thing is, that's going to block... Oh, no, it can't go like that, because hanging out the edge of the building, Pen, it's not going to work like that very well. Maybe we put it there. So drop it in like that. And then what we do is we pick it up and we turn it around so the door is on the right side. Because otherwise, that's a bit of a depth. Nope, hang on, nope, move, turn it round. So like that, like that. And then put the door in the right place. There we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> Splendid. Uh, and then, yeah, we just need to make this room a little bit more exciting. I think it's, it's, yeah, it's okay, but it needs something else. So maybe, I mean, outside, along here possibly... They come up the stairs. We do need all the kind of sinks and things and cleaning supplies and what have you. So why can't we put that down? Why can't we put that down? Oh, hang on, because it's outside the room. Yep, yeah, okay, no, that's fine. We're going to do the outside of the room first. So, uh, yeah, hygiene. So fancy cleaning supplies over there. Um, Hang on, where's the door? There. The door didn't appear when I looked at the... when we had that overlay on. The door sort of disappeared. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, we'll have a bin next to it because that's important for tidiness. And then we will have a high-end sink. Let's put that over there as well. So a little kind of important sort of, you know, sanitary hygiene area. That's quite good. Uh, and then we'll have a cleaning roster, maybe just sort of just there. That's okay. Possibly get, I want like a proper drink. Where's the drinks machine? Drink, oh hang on, water machine. It's not under hygiene, is it? It's under all. Uh, water, there, one of those, look. So we could pop one of those just there. And then in the corner, I think we can always have a plant. Yay for the plant, that's quite fun. Uh, what have we got left? Three grand, maybe. That bit's going to be mostly empty, I imagine. So we could put a window across there. Might be quite nice, just get a little window just to get some... Some sort of nicer lighting going on. That's 3,000 monies for that window. 2,200. That's a bit more feasible. Put that in like that. And there we go. People can now see on their way into the computer room. We haven't put much in the computer room. But never mind. Again, we're not likely to get it up to facility score level 5. Because that is some distance off. Although, carpets carpets would help a great deal with that that would work quite well but okay right there we go never mind the computer room is in it's been moved so yeah we are going to need to at some point get in the where was it the oh the sculpture studio possibly by period four of the end of the day okay right we need people to give us huge amounts of cash please we can get that in and also we don't want to forget about the observatory that also has to go in have we left enough room yes we have okay so it can go in that corner there and i mean yeah if we do build it like that that means the sort of the telescopy bit is pointing out in that direction which is quite good it's looking out over the mudford and into the skies over there which is good i think i quite like that because, yeah, if we face it the other ways, if we, say, put it that way, then, yeah, it's going to be sort of facing into the school, which might be a nuisance. It says there can only build on the floor. But does that mean... Oh, yeah, because we're upper floor, so we're flying around in the sky right there. Yeah, it's saying there's no floor. You have to build it on actual ground, please. Um, 
Although, does it mean it has to go on the actual floor and only the floor? It says it can only build on the floor. Maybe it has to go on the actual ground. Not a floor. It's got to be the floor. Oh, botherations. Okay, okay. We're struggling to get the wonders done. We're struggling to get the wonders sorted out. Oh, no. I want to get that in as well. <laughs> Bother. Never mind. Right. Move time on nice and quick. Let's see if we ignore that for now. We're going to go away from those things. The wonders are complicated. Uh, yeah, where is the sculpture studio thing again? So, yep, yeah, okay, that's good. Can't do more training right now. Uh, can we get one of those in? Can we get one of those in before we need it? So, yeah, we've got oh, not very long left. All of period three, then a bit of a break, and then that needs to be in. Okay, what we'll do is let's fly time on, shall we? Let's fly time on. So through there. Wow, this new time speed thing is going very quick. Uh, right, so fly through here. Then there's a bit of a break. Hopefully people are going to run off to the shop and the cafeteria and such like. And what we're going to do is we are going to pause. Oh, can we clear that out of the way? Can we clear that out of the way? Uh, yeah, okay, good. That can clear. Hang on. Was there a wealthy suburbs person? Was there a wealthy suburbs person wanting to come in? Uh, oh no, it's going to refresh in an hour. Okay, no, that's fine. I think we will now build that thing over there, but we'll do that next time. We'll wrap things up for now. We'll come back next time and we shall build ourselves a fancy sculpture studio over there just in time for class 3-2, just in time for fish class to go and actually make use of it. Because yeah, they've got, um, what's that, about... 33 minutes until it needs to be completed. I'm sure they'll get that done. It's all going to be fine. So yeah, I think that's what we do. We'll wrap things up for now. And then when we come back, immediately work on our sculpture studio. Get that in. And then, then I'm not entirely sure what we can do. Because I was planning on getting the sort of observatory thing in over there. But I now believe that it has to go on the ground. So it can't go on just you know, a piece of floor that's been prepared like this you know a piece of solid floor has to go on the actual ground itself um, and a few people did send the comments but i thought it could go on the ground or on a solid thing it can go you know, up at the top of a tall building or whatever but um okay so we haven't got room to build that so i'm kind of thinking we might need to expand over here we might need to get through to the end of this year so get through to yeah the end of summer and then get all the money from all well, the exams and such like. And then buy that bit of land. Put the observatory sort of over here somewhere. Maybe down here. We could expand the little sort of playground as well. Make that bigger. Make the bike shed thing a bit bigger. Because that is also becoming a bit cramped. And it's sort of crammed down here now. Which is a bit silly. So make that really big. And then the observatory could sort of go down here possibly. I'm not entirely sure. We'll work that out. We'll think about what we do next time. But yes, plenty to be getting on with. We've got many things to do. So we'll come back next time and see how we get on. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Let's School. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I'll see you next time. I've kind of built a very horrific kind of lounge. <laughs> wow. I mean, if that's not going to give you a headache, I don't know what will. It's the balcony of doom at the minute. We've now got ourselves the jungle room, the pink room, and the teapot's tip-top suite. That actually makes my eyes go a bit funny. Should we have that one? <laughs> oh, that is completely perfect and dreadful.